Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video, I'll show you how to enable and use audience targeting on SharePoint. But before to jump in, as always, please subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos. Audience targeting is a very interesting feature on SharePoint that allows you to tailor and customize the news section of a SharePoint site. For example, you can provide different news per user or group. But let's check it out together how to use audience targeting. Let's go! Here I am on my Office 365 tenant. I am on my top site collection and I configure this site collection to be my home site. Basically, this is a communication site where we have a news web part, all news, then we have three images with three links, events. Then we have some videos from my YouTube channel on the left and on the right, my Twitter account. Finally, we have the countdown web part, your sites and news again. So going on top now, I would like to put focus on this, on this section. So as you can see here, we have five Five news. If I switch perspective from another user, Adele Events, in this case, we can see that on the same side we have different news here. We have launching a new device, company goals and guidelines for your business travel, which are different from the first perspective. Again, if I go on a third user, Ligu in this case, on the same site again, we have different news on the news web part. So this is how it works audience targeting. So basically you can target specific user or groups for a news. So how I can enable this fantastic functionality on my site? So first of all, you need to edit the page and you need to edit the news web part. You will find a toggle button in order to enable the audience targeting here. And then second configuration that you need to perform is in the pages library where all news are saved. On the wheel you can click on library settings and finally you will find this link, audience targeting settings. This will open the, the page to, to check the enable audience targeting checkbox. Once you have done that, you will have an extra column here called audience. And this, this extra column will give you the ability to specify the target of a news. So in this case, we have company result fiscal here and the target of this news are three groups, global marketing members, global HR members and IT members. So now I'll show you that the three users that we have seen before are part of three different Office 365 groups. In fact, we have for global marketing, Adele Events as member. For, but for IT, we have Giuliano as member, as you can see here. And finally, for global HR, we have Li Gu as member. There we go. You can easily modify and change the, the target of an existing news by clicking on the detail of this of this news and then you will find this this field so here you can delete remove or can add other other groups or specific users all right that was a quick tutorial how to enable and use audience targeting on SharePoint if you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos. 
If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below, I read them all and I add to my to-do list. Alright, see you next time, bye!